good morning student welcome to today class today we will discuss demonstration teaching method as you know teaching met method can be broadly uh, categorized into two category learner center method and teacher center method demonstration method come in teacher center method first we will discuss the merit and what are the teacher center method then we discuss demonstration method learning objective of our today class to understand the concept of demonstration method to acknowledge the importance of uh, demonstration method to identify the goals and objectives of demonstration method to understand the merits of demonstration method to understand the steps of demonstration method at the end of the lecture we will solve some mcqs related to today topic today we will cover uh, what is teacher center method advantage and demerits of teacher center method example of uh, we will see some example of uh, teacher center method in detail we will learn demonstration method purpose of demonstration method characteristics of uh, demonstration method steps of demonstration method merit of demonstration method and demerits of demonstration method first we will discuss teacher center method teacher center method easier to implementation than student center activity all activity goes around to the teacher in teacher center method student are passive and teacher are more active uh, teacher uh, choose teaching method according to uh, his or her interest uh, according to subject topic teacher center method exploitary in nature the more traditional or conventional approaches the teacher function in the familiar role of classroom lecture presenting information to the student who are accepted to passively receive the knowledge being presented teacher center approach the curriculum relies on the teacher to use their experiences or expertise in helping the learner understand and make connection where the learner take in respective role in the learning 
the teacher act as a knowledge source and the student are the knowledge receiver the learner do their work alone where the they do exercises related to teachers presentation during or after the class the teacher center approaches describes learners as basically passive while the teacher are active since teachers are the main focus in this approach which is consider sensible since in the teacher are familiar with the language which the learner are not learner are regret as empty results in this case the learner are less engaged in the teacher center education teacher are the focus they are the main authority while the student are not able to have a conversation with each other they are to just sit silently and listen to what the teacher is saying it is a method like filling an empty bottle in this case the student are empty bottle and the teacher are filling knowledge into the bottle the student are not allowed to discuss and learn the student should perform the activity on their own let's look at process when the approach is is teacher center the classroom is well discipline the student are quite and you would have complete control on the classroom since the student would be learning by their own it make the student be more independent and it help them to take decision on their own 
the teacher monitor everything and are able to correct every student the teacher is able to impart their wisdom to the students the student will never miss out an important topic now i think you understand what is the teacher center method in teacher center method student are passive and uh, all activities go around goes around to uh, uh, teacher and the uh, teacher filling the knowledge into the student uh uh in teacher center method classroom is well disciplined and uh, all uh class and student and well control in the teacher hand and a student would be learn by their own uh student are more independent and uh, uh teacher monitor everything and teacher observe uh each and every student and the the teacher is able to impart the wisdom to the student now we will discuss advantage of teacher center approaches as the curriculum is designed by the teacher it become easier to achieve the desired goals subject matter become psychological sound due to its relevance with the interest needs and level of the children content or subject matter is logically arranged in relevant material or subject matter is avoided teacher feel comfortable and confident in the classroom activities democracy is uh uh democracy is um, Uh, developed or cooperation is developed so democracy increased uh, and cooperation is developed mm. society or community is also involved directly or indirectly in the development of the curriculum no objection is raised uh, by the 
teacher in connection with the availability of the sources and resources. Characteristics of teacher center instruction. The teacher is the center of knowledge in in charge of learning. Students are usually passively receiving information. Next characteristics of teacher center method. The instructions role is to be primary information giver and primary evaluator. Student are viewed as empty results whose passively receive knowledge from their teachers. Teacher and professor act as the soil supplier of the knowledge and under the direct instruction model. Teacher often utilize systematic uh, lesson plans or script lesson plan to the student. So in next characteristics of teacher center method is the teacher center instruction is uh, fairly low teach often relying on the use of the textbooks and workbook instead of computer assessment are in many cases only carried out as summative and uh, not uh, formative evaluation and they really address qualitative issue of the learner progress. After the advantage of teacher center method, we will also discuss the disadvantage of teacher center method. A change in the attitude on the part of the learner, teachers and community is difficulty to develop. Lack of source and resources hindrance uh, due to rigid administration, planning, and management. It will become difficult to maintain a common standard in various institutions. 
द एग्जिस्टिंग कैरिकुलम फॉर द टीचिंग लर्निंग इंस्टीट्यूशन इज नॉट सुटेबल फॉर द सेंटर अप्रोच फॉर द टीचर सेंटर अप्रोच the drastic change in the examination system and evaluation will be required these are the main disadvantage of teacher center approach now we will discuss some uh types of teacher center method teacher tar lecture method we already discuss uh, in our previous uh, video on lecture method if you want to uh learn lecture method you see my youtube video lecture method demonstration assignment and homework memorizing reviewing questioning and discussion these are the uh, some types of uh, teacher center uh, method today we will discuss demonstration method a method demonstration is a teaching method used to communicate an idea with the aid of visual such as a flip charts poster powerpoint etc a demonstration is the process of teaching someone how to make or do something in a step by step process as you show how you tell what you are doing a demonstration always has a finished product the key to a good demonstration is for the audience to be able to go ham and do what you have taught him how to in demonstration method uh, is basically basically show how you tell and what you are doing the word demonstration means to give demo or to perform the particular activity or concept in demonstration method the teaching learning process is carried in systematic way demonstration often occur when a student have a hard time connecting theories to actual practice or when the student are unable to 
understand application of theories in order to make a success of demonstration method there three things are necessary first one is the object being displayed during demonstration should not be so small because you know in the class we have generally 42 45 students so if your mm, mm, uh, object uh, is so small the all student is uh, are not able to watch and see the your object during the demonstration the clear language should be used to uh, so that pupils may understand the concept easily and uh, always uh, speak uh, according to the size of the class voice should be clear and uh, uh, write down the uh, a uh, new word on the blackboard or indicate the uh, or also uh, if possible uh, put some indicator on particular object you want to demonstrate uh, in the class the pupils should be able to question the teacher in order to remove their difficulty uh if you will uh, allowing a student to ask a question uh the student uh, uh, learn uh, more uh, and the they understand the application so you allow your student to ask one by one uh, question according to your uh, object according to your demonstration demonstration is a methodology liked by a student because in demonstration they learn how to do particular uh, topic how to uh, learn uh, the teacher what they are doing A student are actively engaged in the learning activity now we will discuss characteristics of demonstration method the demonstration method should be done in a simply way always uh, use uh, simple material uh, available uh, always use available resources uh, or or always use simple method for student to learn a student easily this strategy attention is paid to all student if the method is easy so all student uh, uh, 
pay attention on a particular demonstration. Goals and objectives or goals and objections of demonstration are very clear. So it is also for teacher, also for student. So what are the goal? Why you are doing demonstration? What you will be learn from this demonstration? So goal and uh, objection of demonstration should be clear. It is well planned strategy yes because you have to arrange all the uh, sources and uh, pre-plan you will uh, because uh, all the student present on the date day when you are doing demonstration uh, so uh, it is a well planned strategy so uh, Time is given for rehearsal before the demonstration for better understand, for uh, student learn, uh, rehearsal uh, uh, time should be given for the student. The purpose of demonstration, why we are doing demonstration. So these are the main point. What is the purpose of demonstration? First, grabs attention of the student. As we know, when a, student, a teacher doing some uh, thing new in the class students are more att attentive in our class they they want to uh, learn what the teacher is doing uh, new thing in the class and they uh, focus on the particular topic or particular demonstration so demonstration grabs attention of the student reduce safety hurdles save time and resources demonstration method save save our times and resources reviews theories after the theory when we will demonstrate on a particular topic so demonstration provide us reviews of theories illustration and models these are the main purpose of illustration or oh sorry demonstration method steps of demonstration method demonstration uh, method should be divided in six steps we will discuss in deeply one by uh, we, we will discuss uh, dis, uh, deeply for all six method there are six steps of demonstration process the first step is planning and presentation proper planning is 
required for good demonstration. For this, following point should be keep in the mind whenever you uh, planning for demonstration. First planning is to through the presentation of subject matter. So, less planning. So, prepare your lesson uh, before you are going to do uh, demonstration. Uh, so, collection of material related to the demonstration. Collect uh, all material uh, day before. Uh, rehearsal of demonstration. Uh, first, uh, do uh, rehearsal uh, before presenting the demonstration uh, in front of a student. You do rehearsal at first. Mm. In order to ensure the success of demonstration, the teacher should prepare lesson minutely and very uh, seriously. So, prepare your lesson and uh, write down the all steps of demonstration. Second steps of demonstration method is introducing the lesson. The teacher should motivate a student and prepare them mentally for demonstration. So, put some uh, question uh, in front of the student for uh, encourage your student. Uh, so, they will uh, curious for demonstration. The teacher should introduce the lesson to the student, keeping in the mind following things. First one is individual differences, as we know, we have different uh, kinds of different categories of student uh, environment experiences the lesson can also be started with some simple and interesting experience experiments very common event or some internal story. The ex experiment should be able to hold the attention of the student. Next step in demonstration method is presentation of subject matter. In demonstration, presentation of subject matter is very important. If you present 
your subject matter in systematic manner so a student will learn easily a student will understand the subject matter easily the principle of facilitating thinking uh, should be keep in mind the teacher should teach the student in such a way that their previous knowledge can be attached to their new knowledge so always uh, uh, attach student uh, previous knowledge to new knowledge uh, uh, do some uh, probing question ask some probing question do some other thing to attach student uh, uh, previous knowledge to new knowledge uh, next steps in demonstration method is demonstration to uh, the performance in the demonstration table should be ideal for the student the demonstration should be neat and clean so whenever demonstration should be neat and clean student understand all the demonstration process and they will learn how to to do this demonstration next step in demonstration method teaching aid the teacher can use various teaching aids like models blackboards graphs etc during the demonstration last steps in demonstration method is evaluation this is the last step evaluation of the whole demonstration should be done so that is it can be made more effectively uh, evaluation is for both side for a student and for uh, a stu uh, teacher i think you all will be understand the steps of demonstration method we have uh, discussed six steps of demonstration method first step is planning and presentation second step introducing the lesson third step presentation of subject matter fourth step is demonstration fifth step teaching it how to use teaching in when to use teaching in all the uh, according to the uh, topic when you want to demonstrate next and last steps of demonstration method is evaluation so i think you all understand very well uh, what is the steps in demonstration method now 
we will discuss some guideline when using demonstrating first decide the most effective way to conduct the demo teacher teacher with a student helper a student entire class or small class group teacher first then small group repeat make sure the demonstration is visible to all student always have b plan if plan a is fail you should always have b plan for successful conduction of the class model proper safety precautions so always keep your mind the safety points now we will discuss some merits of uh, demonstration method after the merit we will discuss the merits of demonstration method it help a student in having deeper understanding of the topic it help the student remain active in teaching learning process it lead to permanent learning it accounts for principle of reflective thinking it help to create interest for topic among student it help in uh, a student uh, to discover a uh, uh, new thing in the class it impart maximum learning to a student after the merit of demonstration method we will discuss some demerit of discussion method a student cannot be benefit with direct and personal experiences as teacher carry out the demonstration it can be costly it uh, as it require costly materials it can be a time consuming method obvious whenever teacher use demonstration he used to explain all the things so it is 
time-consuming process. It is not based on learning by doing because it is a teacher center method. So it is no uh, based on learning by doing method. Sometimes only teacher uh, present the demonstration and student or uh, 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 patiently watch what the teacher are doing. So it is not the learning by doing method. This method does not provide training for the scientific method. There is a lack of experiences, uh, experienced teacher for carrying out the demonstration. This is the uh, one more disadvantage of uh, demonstration method. Uh, Sometimes we saw uh, the lack of uh, experience in the teacher, so teacher not able to do uh, properly um, demonstration. Uh, conclusion of today lecture. Uh, it is the more suitable method for teaching the secondary classes. If a teacher feels that the Demonstration is taking much time. Then he would be uh, uh, he then he would have to take the help of a student. Similarly, a small group of a student can be invited to the demonstration table. Uh, a student can also demonstrate the experiment. Uh, this might help in removing projection regarding non ability of learning by doing approach. These are the references you should go through or further more detailed knowledge of uh, demonstration method or some teacher center method. Now it is time for MCQs. Post filling the blanks is the method liked by student. Uh, first option A, demonstration, option B, seminar, Option C, workshop. Option D, conference. Option D, uh, op. answer is demonstration. Demonstration method uh, methodology is liked by the student. Next question in demonstration are actively engaged in the learning activity. Option A, student. Option B, teacher. Option C, mentor. Option D, pupil teacher. Option A. In demonstration, students are actively engaged in learning activity. Filling the blanks, student is incorporated into instructional sequences as either an in class assignment and or an out of class assignment. Option A, practice. Option B, seminar. Option C, workshop. Option D, symposium. Option A, practice. The practice should be incorporated into instructional sequences. Next MCQs, filling the blanks. Improve academic performance and study habit. 
uh, option A, homework, option B, seminar, option C, workshop, option D, symposium, option A, homework, improve academic performance and study material. Next MCQs, provide a specific and consist filling the blanks each of uh, each day for homework, A option time, B option period, option C duration, and option D fixed time. The provide a specific and consist time each day for homework. Next MCQs. Uh, filling the blanks, promote efficiency by effective, uh, effectively using both the classroom and the, at the home for learning, homework, um, B, uh, classwork, C, exam, or D, uh, term exam. So, answer is option A, homework, promote, efficiency by effectively using both the classroom and and home for the learning next mcqs filling the blanks will be clear and uh, definite and able to complete without specialized uh, material option a assignment option b evaluation option c measurement Option D, task. Option A, assignment. A student must fill in the blanks, think even without much understanding. Option A, memorize. Option B, learning. Option C, uh, teaching. Option D, practice. Option A, a student must memorize things even without much understanding. Next MCQs, filling the blanks. A student be sure that at the time of demonstration it is visible to all student option a teacher option uh, the group option c peer option d self answer is a option a teacher the teacher should be sure that the at the time of demonstration it is visible to all student next mcq this is our last mcq Filling the blanks, always keep a place at a school in the classroom where the teacher can observe and give feedback. Option A, guide, uh, guided practice. Option B, worksheet. Option C, feedback. Option D, reinforcement. Option A, guided practice. Always take place at a school in the classroom where the teacher can observe and give feedback. Thank you, student. So have a good day.